everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add and remove crafting recipes using data packs in Minecraft. Um, when you're adding in your own recipe, you cannot use NBT t data, and NBT is any special properties that the item has. So if I do test or now let's do nbt dash one b on bracket. This book now has the nbt data of nbt, um, which can be used to make custom item textures, the name and lore of an item. But so basically, you cannot you create custom items. Uh, using data packs but there is a way around this that I'm not going over that basically you grant the player or the item output is a recipe book um, and then an achievement gi gives them the item uh, it resets it and that achievement is triggered by uh, getting the recipe, but I'm not going to cover that today. I am only going to cover how to add custom crafting recipes, such as this one. So if I break the dirt, okay, now I have a piece of dirt, and I turn that into a totem right there. You. So. Narr yeah, let narrator jump. Narrates all. Narrator right in. off. So. And here we have the name of the file, which I'm just going to put example. It doesn't really matter. Um, exactly where a place is if they have to be in this exact. So grass in the top left and the site in the center in the middle, but nothing in the bottom. And then shapeless is it can go anywhere in the crafting grid. I'm going to choose exactly where a place. 2x2 two two grid just changes the look for the website, so you can actually ignore this. Um, you can choose your version. We're not going to do that. We're just going to stay with 1.19. Um, you can change recipes for bonuses, campfires, stone cutters, and smithing tables as well. Um, but we're just going to stick with crafting table. Or crafting recipes and from here you can search for let's say redstone so now I'll drag a redstone block there then that makes bricks now if you want to change the amount of items that are required you can right click and then set count for the output and go yeah so tend to that 64 is the maximum of amount of yeah, you can only have a stack. Um, but there's... That's the basics. But now we need... And now, here's optional. Um, this you can put in a group. And all other crafting recipes. With that group. So if we do test. They will group together like boats group together here where it says json you can download data pack or you can download json uh if it's your first time using making a recipe you can just download data pack but since i already have one i'm going to download json so now here i am with my data packs i've made mine once you download it if you choose to download data pack instead of downloading json which I recommend doing if you don't have a data pack yet. But if you do, you can just download JSON, go into your data pack, into your data folder, and then since we're not, and then we can go into your folder here, which can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, for this example, it's tutorial. And then inside here, then go into the recipes folder, or you probably have to make one. And then, here's my totem from dirt, 
So that showed at the beginning of the video. Then if we drag, if we drag example into here, we should be able to go in game, reload, give us a crafting table. Table here, all of the materials I need for my recipe. So I believe and the site went there, 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 and there. And that gives us 64 bricks, which is what we wanted. Um, let's see. Can we? No, it's not a pan in here. So if we slash this, this will be give me yours too and then this will be whatever your a tutorial name is i just gave myself the recipe for the recipe book and now it appears here and i can get as many times as i want now that i've shown you how to remove how to add recipes i'm gonna show you how to remove base vanilla crafting recipes now if we go to a website called mcasset.cloud here I am in mcasset.cloud and we're going to select whatever your version is 1.19 then go to data minecraft recipes let's remove the pressure plate so we want to select that and then we can copy to copy everything we're going to go into our recipes folder after copying the title and instead of going to our custom uh, folder which is your pita kit that can be named whatever you want we're going to want to go into minecraft or you need to make it if you don't have it already then recipes you're going to want to go to new create a new file Let's call it a text document paste in the title of what you want to remove yes now we have a .json file, copy what's in that folder, open your file, paste that in. Note that sometimes uh, the item will not have a count on the output area. You can just add that in yourself. Now we're going to need to change the count to zero and the item to air air now we need to save exit now we need to go into minecraft reload and now we try and create glitch planks glitch log we can it doesn't give us anything but if we disable the data pack using flash data pack disable tutorial data pack now we can craft it a short tutorial on how to add and remove crafting recipes from minecraft but that's it for today's minecraft video uh don't forget to subscribe leave a like um but yeah Goodbye!